Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 439. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Insight link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. Hey, in trick 437, we looked at the net work days function. That's when your weekend is Saturday and Sunday and it will count the number of work days. Then we saw in uh, 38, that if your weekends are not on Saturday and Sunday, but for instance, Monday and Tuesday, then you have to do something like this. Well, in 2010 Excel, the new version has this function, net, not net workdays, but net workdays international. And there's one extra argument. Actually, let's uh, escape. Here's the extra argument. If you leave the weekend argument out, or put a one, Saturday and Sunday will be the weekend. Two is Sunday and Monday. Three is Monday and Tuesday. That's the one we'll use. That's the one we did in our last video. And then there's this whole list including if you have work six days, right? So you only have uh, your weekend on Tuesday or Friday or whatever it is. So equals net workdays international, our start date, comma, our end date. And here is the weekend argument. I'm going to go ahead and click there since I have a, a cell for it, F4 to lock it going down, comma, and then just like the normal workdays function, we can designate holidays. So I'll come over here, bloop, then I got my holidays right here. I'm going to highlight a bunch of cells just in case I want to add or remove um, some names, some holidays. I'll hit F4 on this one, close parentheses, and there you have it. That is just a huge improvement on how we used to have to do it. So, and there it is. With a one straightforward function, we get the same thing as that big, huge, nasty function. And we can, um, let's put it um, for Fridays only, 16. And just like that, that function updates. All right, um, net workdays, 37, 38, 39. We'll see you next trick.